Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Clonarmy Customs Realistic Recon Dark Grey Commander Wolf. I know that was a mouthful, but in my opinion, this is some of Clonarmy Customs' best work. We'll get into the finer details later, but first, I want to thank Paco Bricks for requesting this review. He makes various sorts of LEGO Star Wars content and just Star Wars content in general. Also, I just wanted to thank you guys for all the support lately. It really means a lot. Alright, without further ado, here's the review. I'm going to start with the best part of this figure in my opinion, the helmet. This helmet is so jam packed with detail, I don't think there's enough room to fit another millimeter of print on it. And every little design is perfect. The shape of the wolf, its teeth, the yellow markings, the mouth area, the eye area, it's all amazing. There's also room for a rangefinder on each side of the helmet, which is where the only flaw is located. The hole where the rangefinder is entered in is a little tight, so you really have to be careful putting your rangefinder in, otherwise it could break. But other than that, it's a mini masterpiece. Next, let's work our way down and look at the torso. Clonary Customs torso print is literally the best on the market. The colors he incorporates into his figures are super vibrant, which is one thing I look for when buying a custom figure. This torso uses his basic dark grey wolf pack design, which means if you have other CAC dark grey wolf pack troopers, they're going to match pretty well. On his right arm, there's highlights for the armor plating and then a wolf pack symbol on the shoulder pad. His left arm is exactly the same except for the design on the shoulder pad. My favorite part on the torso is the back, which has a large section of dark grey print which blends very nicely with the helmet. The side print finishes off the torso and makes it a well-rounded piece. Finally, we have the legs and waist cape. This is another area where the figure shines design-wise. The teeth-like dark grey print around the legs is a design unique to Commander Wolf. No other CAC clone and Star Wars character in general has anything close to this. Sadly, when you have the waist cape on this figure, it kinda hides it. But don't worry, if you want to display him without his waist cape and rangefinder, he still looks good. This beautiful tooth design also wraps around the inside of the legs. This is a feature all of Clonarmy Customs' new figures have, and I love it. Well, that's it for my review of Clonarmy Customs' Realistic Recon Commander Wolf. If you guys have any questions about this figure, leave them in the comment section below. Oh, I forgot to say, but if you order this figure exactly how I got it, it'll cost you $35. Also, while you're down in the comment section, reply to my comment with video ideas. I'm a little dry and need some inspiration. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. 